What's going on guys? It's part 11 of the AEK series. We're going to be at home to Metalist Kharkiv in what could be a pivotal game in the Europa League group stage. If we lose this, I think we're pretty much down and out. If we look at the table. Yeah, so you'd think uh, Lille will beat Bait in that other group to go 12 points to the good. Um, if Metalist uh, beat us, that'll uh, stretch out a gap of 6 points uh, between us and Metalist. Meaning we would have to win both our games. And I think it actually... Teams tied on points are sort of tied on head-to-head -head record. So if Metalist beat us twice, then they're going to be ahead, to, ahead of us on head-to-head. -head and we're definitely going to be out of the group. So, yikes. <laughs> if we get beaten, uh, we're out. That's um, news to me. Uh, anyway... I'm going to show you the um, few games we've played in the League and Cup since the last game against Metalist. After the disappointment of the late goal against Metalist, we uh, got our first loss of the League campaign. Manias and uh, Cherisis for them uh, took us out clean, two goals to nil. We wasted our chances and I think I over-rotated a little bit, it has to be said, for this game. Not enough really key players for us uh, at full fitness to really stem the tide of the uh, Giannier attack and create anything for ourselves. That's the end result in the end. We dropped three valuable points in uh, what could be a title race this season. We then hosted Lamia, who I believe were relegated last season, in the Greek Cup second round. I believe this result confirmed our qualification for the last 16. It's a bit of a nothing group anyway. It's a group we'll win easily. Uh, Aravidis, Platelas and Barbosa with the goals. Mendy with a goal for them uh, on 89 minutes, which did not change the tide of the game one bit. We then recovered from our first defeat in the league to smash Kakaira by three goals to nil. Brasovic, Barbosa and Cielis from a corner, gra grabbing the goals in a dominant performance. Uh, those league results leave the table looking like this. We're third. We have a game in hand on Tripolis, uh, which if we win, we'll overtake Tripolis to second place. So we're up there, that's all that matters at this early stage of the season, that we are up there and we can challenge realistically for top spot, although it's going to be difficult with the squad we have compared to Panathinaikos, Tripolis, Olympiakos, it's not going to be easy and we're going to have to be at our best for sure. Uh, recently Barbosa and Tunis both impressed on the wings, Barbosa uh, still recovering from an injury, although he will be back for the game after the Metalist game. I want him to be fresh for the league because I don't want to have a situation where um, I'm over-rotating in the league and missing out on valuable points. All the wingers really have done very well. Bresovic has come in and done a job. That's been good for us that we've got another striker who can come in for Aravidis and still bag the goals. Okay, on with the game. Let's go into the team selection. Uh, Knas Mulner is unfortunately injured for this game but he is the only injury concern that we have I'm going to try and select the strongest side that I can here uh, which means bringing Aravidis on up front uh, how's Barbosa's condition I'm not going to risk him I think I will well in Tunis oh, he's not really okay I've got nobody else really I can play on the left this is a bit of a situation um, I think I'll have to go with... I'll go with Grontis on the left. He's come in and done a job. He can be relied on to provide the goods. I'm going to bring in Zazinho as deep line playmaker. Uh, Mantelos can um, retain his position in central attacking mid. I've been happy with his performances. I'm going to bring on Bakakis on the right. And that is going to be the team, I think. So we've got Anistis in goal. Combo, Cialis, Colavestios, Bakakis as the back line. Pretty standard stuff. Zazinho and Zorich, centre midfield, Mantelos, attacking midfield, Grontis on the left, Platelas on the right, Aravidis up front. So, if we can win this game, we have a real chance of getting through to the Europa League last 32. At least I think it's 32. Maybe another one of my famous misconceptions that go on to be quite embarrassing. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, Metalist are the bookies' favourites, so we're going to have to be wary of that. Um... Asmulna, obviously a big miss. What formation is that? That is the um, that's the narrow aeroplane formation. Um, that might be hard to deal with. <laughs> They'll flood the midfield, and uh, their wing backs are going to be dangerous. Um, I'm always wary of playing against a team with an unfamiliar formation because 
it's you never know whether the formation is going to work an absolute treat and they play like Barcelona or they just it's just not the right fit for the team because it's a stupid looking formation um, anyway actually I think that's what made uh, Stoke so OP on FM14 I don't know if you ever did a pre Premier League save on FM14 but Stoke always used to finish 4th, 5th in my saves they had a weird sort of formation uh, moving on from formations entirely, Grontis has put in an early ball and we've got an early chance um, already. That's encouraging signs for the first few seconds of the game. Okay, here's the situation. Mantos whips in a ball. Zazinho straight at the keeper, but it was offside anyway. I must say it's been a lot like the um, previous Metalist game. Very tight, not many chances. But uh, this time we seem to have the uh, lion's share of the chances. Being at home, you could probably reasonably expect that. But I have a feeling a draw probably won't be enough to really put us in a good position for qualification. Nevertheless, it won't completely kill us off. So a draw would be satisfying, um, you know, against Metalist, who are reasonably strong opposition. So it's been nil-nil so far. Let's, uh, let's tell them to get revenge. That usually fires the lads up. Come on, lads. Let's inject some life into this. Oh, okay, we've got a highlight. It's Convoy throwing it to Zazinho. Launches it up to Christos Aravidis, who's uh, playing on the left flank. He launches it up to Platella. Ah, it's in! It's in! It's not offside. I had to pause. It was an important goal. I didn't want to be celebrating like a mad cunt when the goal was disallowed. But it's not been disallowed. And we have what could be a crucial advantage. A Mantelos with the free kick. Oh, he's hit the bar. Oh, that could have really been decisive. But now we are looking to make our substitutions. Is anybody really tired? Platelas looks quite tired. Um, what can I do? If I bring Aravidis out on the right, put Bresovic up front, who's been in good form, and yeah, that should take care of Platelas's fatigue. And bring on, I think I'll bring on Papalabru, one of our wonder kids in uh, attacking mid central that's a big risk but he's in a position where if he loses the ball it's not really too much of an issue because there are plenty of players behind him who can mop up the shit that he's left behind uh, anyway we seem to be defending a metalist uh, attack now and diego souza geraldo straight at the keeper luckily that could have been a very dangerous situation but they did not make the most of that metalist Mentalist, metalist, and could we just be running down the clock now? And we're 15 minutes away from um, three valuable points in the group stage. We'll be tied if we can hold on. Uh, we can't get too far ahead of ourselves because uh, there's another highlight, and uh, metalists have possession, and they've been creating the chances really in the past few minutes, as you'd expect. Convoy should intercept that, and now Geraldo Anistis, what a save! What a save. He could have just won us the points there. Anistis with a brilliant save to keep us in the game. And now we've got a corner. and no, it's a throw in actually. It's Zazinho on the wing to Grontis. Cuts inside, can he? That's an almighty scramble. But Convoy gets it back on the left. And now he whips it in. And it's Bresovic to Bakakis. That's signed, sealed and delivered. It's 2-0 to AEK. We've moved up to second in the group. Thanks to a superior record against Metalist. And we could have saved our Europa League bacon right there. With this crucial result. Get in there. Where the whistle ref. That's it. That's full time. What a win. I wasn't expecting such a good win. But we've managed to grab it. I'm going to tell the lads they've done very well there. Against a team who are very dangerous against us. It has to be said. Uh, looking at the table then. Lille, I think, of yeah, they've uh, sealed their qualification from the group, surely. Uh, six points clear with two to go. Uh, I don't see anyone catching them, to be honest. Uh, Bates has still yet to score any points. So I think it's safe to say we're at least getting third in the group. But it's going to be a straight fight between us and Metalist. I'm not sure who we have in game five, but it could be pretty crucial. Um, if it is Lille then we could have some problems because you know that Metalist will smash the living hell out of bait. 
if we just go on to our fixtures, um, it is Lille next. Uh, two league games before that. So it's going to be a very tricky game to get anything from that. Uh, we are the home team, but really with the quality they've got, they should be pummeling us. If we can get a point, actually, that could be decisive. Because, of course, Lille have won all their ga all their games in the group. And um, so Matalus could find it tough against them. So anyway, um, it could be D-Day on, um, uh, on the next upload. We're going to be at home to Lille. And it could decide our fate in the group stage. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. A great win to uh, end a pretty patchy spell. Take care of yourselves, guys. And I'll see you later.